Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, so this is a pretty special video that I'm doing right now and it probably won't go out um, for a couple months <laughs> but I thought I would just record everything now as it goes and then I'll put it up you know later on um, but I have a very important and special announcement to make so let me just show you if you can see um I'm pregnant <laughs> Yay! So, um, this was totally not planned at all. Anthony and I, we've been married almost a year now, um, and we haven't really talked about having kids. Obviously, I, I've always wanted to have kids. If you met anyone who knew me, you would know that I, um, love kids, I love being around kids, I come from a big family, I want a big family of my own. Anthony is totally different, he has, he's come from a small family, he doesn't want a lot of kids, um, and so every time we would bring up the subject of kids, it was kind of along the lines where, yes, I want to have kids, and Anthony was like, I'm not ready yet, give me more time. So, um, we were going to talk about it um, at our one year anniversary. I was going to see what Anthony thought at that point, but I guess plans changed and um, I guess we won't be having that conversation because now we don't have a choice. Um, I was on birth control. Um, I got on it several years ago back when I was in high school because I had really bad cramps. My cramps would be so bad that they would um, like I would almost faint because of the pain from it. So that will tell you my pain tolerance. So great. I'm about to have a child labor delivery. It's going to be great. But, um, so I've been on birth control ever since. And, um, recently they changed me to a generic version of my birth control. So I'm not sure if that was the cause of it or, um, lately we've just been so busy with vacation and doing the house. I haven't really been on time and perfect at taking my birth control at every, um, at the specific time I'm supposed to take it every day. Sometimes I would miss a day. I wasn't trying to get pregnant. It just happened. So here we are. I, um, I was supposed to get my period, um, this week and, um, I really haven't been feeling any symptoms at all. Um, they say like the early symptoms would be like, um, your breasts would get sore or, um, morning sickness, nausea. Yeah, just different symptoms like that. And I really haven't been feeling anything. I thought it was totally fine. I thought I was going to get my period. Um, and then it just never came. And this has happened before in the past. Um, usually it happens because I'm just so stressed that I just miss my period completely. And it's freaked me out before several times in the past. Um, and so this time I was like, oh, it's probably just stress from, you know, the new house and building it and everything. But I wanted to check, you know, just in case. I do, I do almost every month because I'm just crazy about that. Ask Anthony and he'll tell you. And so I went and checked and um, I took my first test and it came and it was really, really um, faint. And so I was like, I've never gotten any, like I've taken pregnancy tests before and they've always been blank. So I've never gotten a faint line before, but I was like, okay, if it's faint, like maybe the test is wrong or maybe I did, I don't know. I was thinking like, there's no way this can't happen. So of course, what do I do? I go to Google and I Googled like, what's going on and of course you know Google gives you all different kinds of answers and uh, some people are like oh you're pregnant and some people are like oh maybe you're not you should take another test so I waited like um, a couple more days and then I took another test and it was more darker it wasn't as faint and um, so I was really freaking out and I was like, okay, I keep, and, but it was from, it was the, from the same pack as the first one, the same brand, same pack. So I was like, maybe it's just, maybe I got a defective pack. So I was like trying to convince myself that way. The next time I took it was in the morning and I, I had told Anthony the night before I said, you know, I'm just, I'm just letting you know, like, I'm just 
not so sure about this and I think I might be pregnant I'm gonna take a test in the morning and he was like there's no way you're not pregnant and he was like I'm bet you fifty dollars I'm gonna win like he was for sure that we weren't going to and I was just like I was scared out of my mind because Anthony every time we brought it up he would not want to talk about it he didn't want to have kids yet and so I didn't want to force him into something that he wasn't ready for so I was freaking out nervous I wasn't able to sleep the whole night before so I get up and uh, in the morning and I went and took the test and it was this pink one <laughs> which as you can see two lines and uh, it's pretty dark I've I mean I was just like yep that yep that's there so I took the test and of course I was freaking out um, I was scared to tell Anthony I didn't know I couldn't tell anybody because obviously you want your husband to be the first person that you talk to um, and I was scared to tell him because I didn't know what his reaction would be so I waited until like that afternoon and all of a sudden you know we were just sitting in our family room and Anthony turned to me and he was like did you ever take that pregnancy test and oh my gosh I like my heart started beating I started sweating I was freaking out and I was like I was like yeah I took it and he was like well what did it say not pregnant and I was like I don't want to I don't want to talk about it and he was like what do you mean and I was like I don't want to talk about it he's like Shannon I'm your husband you have to tell me so I was freaking out and I was like well I'll just go and get you the test and you can look at it and he was like okay so I went up here it was like the longest walk of my life I was so scared I got the test I uh, my sister was here um, she had just moved into her house so I was like hiding it because I didn't want her to see I didn't want anybody to know and uh, I go down to the living room and I and I show it to him and it's in its little um, I put it in like this like the wrapper it came in and Anthony he's a boy he's never like seen pregnancy tests before he's never read it before so I gave it to him and he was like okay and I was like you got to take it out and read what it says he was like I don't want to touch the side that you peed on I was like Anthony like it's not I put it so that the handle is the one you'll gr you're gonna grab so he was like okay so he grabs it and he pulls it out slowly I swear it was like the longest like I felt like time was like at a standstill so he pulls it out slowly and of course he sees the blue two blue lines and I thought I was gonna have to explain it to him but uh, like on the test it says like two lines pregnant one line not pregnant so um, he looks at it and uh, I was so scared that he was going to be mad, he was going to yell at me, he was going to be like, oh my gosh, like, it wasn't my fault, but I was afraid that he was going to think it was my fault, but actually it was a really good reaction, I wish I would have filmed it, he took it out slowly, and then he saw it, and his jaw dropped, and he was like, he had the most shocked expression on his face, he was like, <gasps> and he was, he looked immediately at me, and he was like, are you pregnant, and I was like, I think so, and he immediately got up because he was sitting down at the time he immediately got up and he gave me a huge hug and he like twirled me around and he was like I'm so excited we're pregnant I can't wait and I was floored when he told me this I was like what like I thought you were gonna be mad I thought you were gonna be yelling at me and he was like he was like I know it's not your fault and I was like it's not I promise I've, I, I mean I haven't been the best at taking my pills but I haven't stopped them and uh, he was like, it's okay, like, we're at a good spot, and I knew it was going to happen eventually, I didn't think it would happen this soon, but I want to support you, and I mean, it was just, it took a load off of my shoulders, so I was so happy about it, and um, I, I was thrilled at his, uh, his reaction, and um, he was really excited about it, and he's like, I, he's like, I'm scared, I'm a little nervous, I'm excited, and I was telling him, like, it hasn't hit me yet, and it still hasn't hit me yet. Um, this has only happened a few days ago, and I, it still feels like I'm not pregnant. Like, <laughs> I mean, I've never been before. I don't have any symptoms, so whatever. Anyway, so he, I took that test, and he was like, you should take another one and be sure. And so I had previously bought another box, a totally different brand, totally different box, and I was like, okay, I'll do that right now. So I went and took a test, and sure enough, uh, pregnant <laughs> again. Um, and that one, and the blue one, it came up like right away. Usually on my test, the sign has taken uh, a while for it to come up. Like usually it comes up like right at the three minute mark that it tells you to wait, but this one, it came up right away. And I was like, oh gosh. <laughs>
<laughs> so I was like, well, <laughs> no going back now. So um, I went downstairs with it and I showed Anthony and he was like, well, yep, there's no mistake in that. You are pregnant. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that and we have a really exciting journey ahead of us. I'm really excited. Um, I'm scared. Um, I've been online like every day um, researching. Um, I'm trying to find a doctor, uh, a good doctor, because I need somebody who's like understanding that I'm going to ask like a million bajillion questions because um, I've never done this before and somebody who's nice and willing to answer them for me so I've been trying to find a doctor I think I've narrowed it down and then um, also trying to find one that can do like has uh, privileges so I can deliver in a hospital like around here in Dublin I don't have to go all the way down to downtown uh, Columbus and all of that um, so I've been researching that and then I've just been trying to research pregnancy and what I can and can't do. I've been downloading um, apps on my phone uh, to keep track of um, and the apps are really cool nowadays. Um, they'll tell you um, oh baby's the size of this so like right now um, I'm at four weeks and it says that my baby is the size of a poppy seed <laughs> which look it up it's really tiny. Um, and so it also tells you like um, things that you can and can't eat, things you can and can't drink, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. I mean, it's a lot to take in and it's a lot to learn and I'm just so scared. Like I don't wanna mess anything up and hurt this thing that's inside me. So um, Anthony and I went and bought some prenatal vitamins and um, I'm taking those every day just to help um, and I'm gonna make a call soon and schedule an appointment. I obviously I've never done this before so I don't even know if they'll see me this early in my pregnancy or if they'll make me wait until I'm so many weeks pregnant um, but I might as well get the ball rolling on that and I hope I can get a time that Anthony can come to. He works long hours so it might be a little difficult but um, right now, um, no one knows except for Anthony. Um, we've been debating, like, should we tell, should we not? Uh, I definitely want to tell, like, my family, uh, my mom, definitely, uh, my sisters. I'm trying to f think of a good time when to do that, and obviously I want to tell them in person, and my mom lives in Toledo, so, um, I'll have to wait till the next time I see her, but, um, my mom can be a little bit of a blabbermouth sometimes, and so I'm a little scared to tell her because I don't want her telling everybody um, in the whole world because I think I should tell it. It's my, my life, my secret. So I'm going to have to really talk to her and my sisters and just tell them, like, hey, um, don't tell anyone. Um, but I think I might wait until definitely after, like, my first doctor's appointment just because... I read somewhere that like your first pregnancy, you have a really high um, chance of, of miscarriage, ending in miscarriage, and so I wouldn't want to tell everyone and get all their hopes up and then, you know, something bad happens and then, you know, I just don't, that's why um, we're definitely not going to tell like friends and, and acquaintances and things like that until like 12 weeks. I think that's what everybody says to do is to wait 12 weeks. So we're definitely going to wait then. And tell everybody um, then but obviously we're gonna tell our family before then um, but I'm really excited Anthony's really excited I know my family's gonna be really excited they've been waiting for us to get pregnant and um, I'm really I, I don't know what to expect obviously I've never been pregnant before but um, I'm excited for this journey and I'm excited to take you guys on this journey with me um, I'm gonna record as much as I can. I've been taking, well, I take, I took my first like bump selfie, which obviously I don't have anything because the baby's super small and I'm only four weeks. But um, I figured I'd start now and I'll just take one every week um, and watch the progress. And I'm sure I'll put the pictures on here too. I'll probably put the picture of my, well, I don't know if I'll put that on here. There's really nothing to look at, but. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited about this journey. Um, if you have any, uh, advice, uh, things you wish you would have known, um, 
when you were pregnant for the first time, leave a comment down below. I'd love all the uh, advice I can get. That's what I really wish I could do right now is just tell my mom because I know she'd have a great amount of advice for me and what I should be doing and shouldn't be doing and you know she'd be able to answer all my questions but I'm just not ready for that yet and I think Anthony and I just want to revel in the fact that it's just our little secret and you know who knows it might not you know it might end in sadness so um, we're hoping not and I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that it goes full term and that we have our little baby in our arms so um, yep, yeah, that's my announcement and my update to you. Sorry that I'm going to put this on late, but um, I'll probably be three months pregnant by the time I put this up, but <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> uh, but don't worry, I'll be posting probably a ton of updates then since I'm doing it on a delay. But um, for now, yeah, you can just see pregnant. <laughs> Tune in uh, for more about uh, our exciting journey. Thanks.